Back in his hometown of Wakefield, Mass., he tells us how he suffered as a little boy from physical and psychological abuse at the hands of his mother's many husbands. But when Scott was 10, he experienced another kind of abuse at the hands of a camp counselor. You tell us that you were actually sexually abused. More than once. Yep. Fortunately, nothing was ever fully consummated, so to speak, but it was certainly uh, back then very traumatic. He said, if, if you tell anybody, you know, I'll kill you. You know, I, I, I will make sure that, that no one believes you. And that's the biggest thing. When people find people like me at that young, vulnerable age who are basically lost, the thing that they have over you is, is they make you believe that no one will believe you. You know, you can't So you it. never reported it? No. My mom will read about it for the first time. My wife uh, is, is read about it. No, no one, I haven't told anybody. That's what happens when you're a victim. You, you're embarrassed, you're hurt, uh, 